You're waking up on the bright side here on 10 Tampa Bay. We've seen a water spout form every day this week so far. One popped up on Nokomis Beach in Sarasota on Monday. Another dropped from the sky in Destin up in the Panhandle. You'll probably remember that one right there in the middle. Unforgettable. Yeah, and we saw spouts move through Reddington Beach on Wednesday as well. Okay, so we also caught this one right here on our Wyndham Graham weather camera. Uh, that's on Clearwater Beach. It was yesterday, and it moved on to land and uh, sped up a little in that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> we did a little, little, more little, little editing. You see stuff. <laughs> My goodness, makes you think of Twister. Or <laughs> yeah, <something. right. laughs> All right, so Grant, even though that spout moved on to land, you were telling us earlier this is not a tornado. Yeah, if you got a minute, meteorologist Grant Gilmore can explain why. Yeah, this was study the, the meteorologists in the 10 weather department and the National Weather Service got on the phone yesterday and we talked about this because clearly at this point you've got the funnel you've got the the surface spray you see right there you see that surface spray which indicates that that, that vortex or that circulation goes from the water all the way up into the cloud bank there but watch as we put this back into motion all right so you still have your funnel it's getting smaller but notice I'm going to pause this here just for a second. Notice that funnel obviously beginning to dissipate and it's starting to run a little bit ahead of that surface circulation there. So you still have the spray. So still a water spout at this point, right? So we're OK, we're OK, we're OK. Watch what happens, though. There goes the funnel. However, there's still that surface spray. So that means there's still some sort of circulation that is tracking toward the beach. This is the transition it makes to a land spout. So water over water. And then as that surface circulation, which is right there, continues, watch what happens. See it tracking, tracking, tracking. If you look closely here, there is still that surface circulation, but nowhere up here do we see that funnel? And that's exactly how it makes that transition from a water spout to a land spout, but not technically a tornado because you don't have that condensation or that funnel that goes all the way down to the ground. However, you still do have that surface circulation, which is why you don't want to be near that because that could pick up some debris and could cause some damage. And this was the interesting conversation we had with the National Weather Service yesterday is we said, well, <laughs> there is no funnel. So how can we technically call it a tornado if we don't have that funnel cloud that goes all the way down to the ground? This is the difference between a water spout and a technical Tornado. Tornadoes form, form from the mesocyclone way up in the atmosphere and it forms all the way down. Water spouts form from the surface and then they go up creating that funnel cloud. So in the grand scheme of things, water spouts, land spouts, they are underneath the umbrella of a tornado. But yesterday what we saw in Clearwater Beach was a land spout, not a tornado. Professor Grant. There you go.